Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? My name is DJ A9ZT, and we're back with Fire Pro Wrestling World, DJ Booth Wrestling, and we are on the heels of our first pay-per-view, Hypomania, and we are heading into the Hypomania Hangover, our next YouTube show exclusive here, and after the hype, you have the hangover. And everything could change before we get back to stream on Monday night. All the titles will be on the line. Nobody gets to celebrate. They have to face the hangover. And we're going to get right into it. Nearly everybody on the entire roster will be in action tonight. So look for yourself. And if you don't see yourself in a match... You better come knocking on the office door and figure out why. Because you should have had a match, alright? So without further ado, I give you Hypomania Hangover. Alright, we are going to kick things off tonight with a Battle Royal. An over-the-top rope Battle Royal. And um, I'm going to explain what the winner of this is going to get on... Monday night on the stream so there is definitely big implications on this so you definitely want to win this match right here so TJ Punk Hogan to beef payroll outlaw 131 J-Man, Two Live Brew, and Jedi Shane. So remember, the winner of this is going to be rewarded. But they will not find out until stream Monday night. Fight. Let's get right into the action here. Oh, Payroll getting his eyes poked. Payroll, he's on quite the losing streak as of late. He even lost to Great Old One at Hypomania kickoff. And uh, he just didn't know where he's going to go from here. So he's looking to gain some momentum back. As well as uh, two live brew out there flying solo after after two drunk kind of broke up when drunk Johnny joined Piper's Guild. We got Jedi Shane, still a relative newcomer. Great J Man, looking to make a name for himself. Still had a little bad luck in the World Title Tourney. TJ looking to turn it around. TJ Gamebox had a couple wins in the tournament, looking pretty impressive. Punk Hogan to be for both in there. Lock it up with each other now, and the beef takes a couple elbows. The one thing I was impressed with at Hypomania was uh, nobody got injured. No injuries on the show. Now, the people who are injured still will not be on this show, but uh, we got a couple people injured that are going to come back with a vengeance really soon. I can guarantee you that. Every title will be on the line tonight. As well as a few surprises in. Oh my goodness, Payroll is the first one eliminated. Where does he go from here? Where does he go from here? Oh, J-Man, a little poking of the eyes there. He ain't gonna do nothing but make Jedi Shane mad by poking his eyes. I can guarantee you that. And good things don't happen when Jedi Shane gets mad. Oh, super kicks. See? Oh. Oh, and he's out of there. Two live throws him out. Jedi Shane is eliminated. The winner of this battle royal is gonna get rewarded. If you all lose in this battle royal, it's back of the line right now, alright? It's back of the line. 
Because that's how we do it in DJ Booth Wrestling. Only the strong survive, and only the winners get rewarded. Or those who drop large donations to the cause. <laughs> Oh, almost went for a pinfall in there. I remember it is over the top rope, but pinfall and submission will still count. You can win any way you can win in here. Oh, big pile driver on the beef. J-Man's rolling now. Oh, uh-oh. Military press. I thought he was going to go out. Looked like he might have got saved there. And there goes two live celebrating again. Oh, Punk Hogan's out of here. Two live, big elbow drop. The beef fighting out of trouble. So we're down to five. We got the great J-Man. We got TJ Gamebox. We got the beef. We got two live brew. And we got Outlaw 131. And uh, TJ Gamebox is eliminated. We're down to four. Great J-Man has the mask on. The beef is Ric Flair. Okay. So we're down to the beef with the Ric Flair avatar. Two live brew gaming looking like Razor. And Outlaw 131, the smoking gun. Oh, no. Big double power bomb on the beef. But he will not give up. Looks like they, uh, well, I thought they had an alliance going there for a minute, but there's no teams in a battle royal. No, oh, Ace Crusher! A little quick go behind there. I thought he might try to dump him over the top. Ooh, everybody off the... We had some crisscross going on there. Oh, why would the beef save two live there? Let him give up. Oh, and he gets kicked right in the nuts for it, too. That's what happens. Pile drivers going around for everyone here. Ooh, vicious knife edge chops from the beef. Oh, and Outlaw's eliminated. We're down to two. We're down to two here in the opening match of Hypomania Hangover. Oh, the dirtiest player in the game, to beef. Oh, figure four, figure four. Oh, but two live will not stay out. Back in under the bottom. Oh, big back kick to the balls. Diving knee off the top, but the beef is gas too. It's anybody's match to win now. Drop kick, knee drop. Ah! Oh, double underhook pile driver. Reverse elbow drop. And a second one. And two live didn't try to throw him out. Oh, rock bottom. And that's it! Two Live Brew Gaming wins! The opening bout here, remember, there will be implications for that, and we can find out what he's won on Monday night on Twitch TV, live in the DJ booth. But there you have it. There you have it. All right, so next we're going to do something a little bit differently here. I told you we had surprises coming at Hypomania Hangover, and we've got a big announcement. What you didn't know at Hypomania was I was getting some new titles made and shined up, and guess what? They are the DJ Booth Wrestling Trios 
tag titles. And we're going to have us a little competition with four teams. Four teams. And only one team can be the winner. And the first team we're going to introduce out here. Where is he at? I really got to sort my people better. Aha! Fuller's in Sydney. All right. And they will be accompanied to the ring by J-Rock. J-Rock's still a little injured, but uh, he's going to accompany... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I can't set him as a second there? Okay. Oh, I see. I'm in the wrong category. Disregard that. It was supposed to be an exhibition. Okay. And their first opponent is going to be the team of Moonwing. And he's been teaming with Godflow in the absence of 2Bob29. And no matter what happens, Moonwing and 2Bob29 will get their rematch for the Tag Team Championships, no matter who the champions should be. And they needed a new partner for tonight. And one man stepped up and said, you know what? I'll up and join you. And his name is OKC. Thunder Oklahoma, Oklahoma Thunder 98 will be teaming. With Moonwing and Godflow. And with Moonwing, his partner, Mr. 2Bob29, will be seconding them out there. He's going to try and keep an eye on old J-Rock there. A couple injured guys might be fighting outside the ring. But the winner of this will move on to the Trios Tag Team Championship match a little later on tonight. We will have new champions. We are skipping introductions tonight. It's a long show, and I should have just turned them off in the settings, but uh, for the main event, we'll probably have introductions. So, All right, Moonwing starting things off. Cobra Kai out there had a real strong show in Hypomania. Everybody came just this close, but didn't win any gold. And so now... Maybe they win the gold tonight. Maybe they still come into the week with three championship belts. OKC okay, and they're locking up with BMW. Big elbow. OKC's okay, rolling now. Big back smasher. BMW ain't staying down like that. You got a one count and here comes Marix. The man who was dismantled by Tommy Elvira in the world championship match at Hypomania. Oh, a little strong style showdown here. Who's going to stay up? And OKC okay, is down and Marix... Frog Splash, but OKC was in the ropes. And he's shooting Merrick's into the wrong part of town there. And here comes Godflow. Godflow, I'm going to tell you what about this guy. He has uh, done a lot of running his mouth and not a lot of winning. And he always has an excuse. 
And right now, he's in the ring. Bar he didn't have to let Merrick's tag out, but he did. He's putting himself in bad situations, and he wants to blame everybody else for his problems. But listen, you had your shot like everyone else in the singles tournament. All you had to do was win. Oh, eats a big super kick from footers. Here comes OKC, and here comes Merrick's. Oh, double power bomb right in front of Merrick's. Little partying gift for footers there on the way out, but Merrick's slaps a quick figure four on OKC. Ah, keep him in your corner. That's smart, Merrick's. Keep him over by the dojo. Oh, big super kick for Merrick's running elbow drop. And he let him up. And here comes Moonwing. Big knee lip goes for the cover. One count only on Moonwing. Oh, Camel Clutch applied, but Merrick's will not tap out. And all this tag team picture that Moonwing's been in. Moonwing's not been the one pinned in any of these matches. Two Bob was injured and beat in the original title match. Oh, big tag team finisher there. And um, Godflow was defeated as his tag partner at Hypomania. Moonwing's ready to win. And then he's gonna have Two Bob come back from injury and he's gonna have a bunch of gold, but Godflow throws Merrick's all the way to the floor. Godflow with a steel chair. It's pandemonium outside the ring. It's pandemonium. Oh, I thought if we get a double count out, all these teams will be eliminated. Now Merrick's returns the favor. Godflow all the way to the floor. Chokehold applied out there. And the dojo's playing dirty. They're holding him outside the ring. Oh, just made it back in in time. This thing's breaking down. I don't even know who's legal anymore. I don't even know who's legal. The whole dojo's in! Triple team! Triple team! Oh, God, flow power bomb! Oh, just broken up. Just broken up the numbers game from the dojo. Just a little too much, and here comes Moonwing. Get the fresh man in. Oh, a little uh, back suplex STO combination. And one for Merrick's as well. Oh, shoulder breaker for Moonwing. Drag him back in. Moonwing up top. Oh, misses with the diving headbutt. Merrick's hits him with the elbow. Goes for the cover. One, two. Moonwing's on it too. A little strong style here. Moonwing gets the better of Merrick's there off the ropes. Oh, and he sits on him. Footers is lucky. He got there just in time. BMW back in now. And Moonwing wants no parts of it. He goes and gets a little backup from OKC. Okay, see, like a freight train just ran BMW over. Guillotine choke. Guillotine choke, and everybody's distracted. But BMW will not give up. Oh, big suplex there. Goes for the cover. Got flow in to break it up. Oh, big DDT. Oklahoma Thunder's going off. Snap suplex on BMW. Picks him back up. Quick go behind. Off the ropes. Oh, Superman punch! That was the OK Thunder right there. He hit him with the thunder. Exploder suplex. Tags out. Here comes Godflow. Oh, Destroyer! Godflow loses the upper hand. Penetrator applied by Footers. 
Godflow does not tap out. 20 minutes gone by in the matchup. Big power bomb from Godflow. That could be it. And the dojo in to break it up again. Now sit out power bomb again. Your teammates are too slow, Godflow. Godflow comes in clean in house. And he can't get any help from his teammates. And now he's down. And now he's down. Oh, stunner! Stunner on BMW! Bring him to your corner! You can't keep trying to pin him in the dojo's corner. Oh, there you go. Now you got him on your side. Moonwing, big elbow. Big lariat. BMW with a sit out on Moonwing. 2.9 Moonwings out. Oh, big belly to belly from BMW. We call that the BMW to belly. Running Bulldog. Everybody's looking a little worn down now. I don't think anybody's fresh anymore. Merrick's big double power bomb. BMW double. Everybody's eating power bombs. Looks like it just woke Merrick's up, though. Now he's mad. He said, no, 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 no. Big drop kick. Has OKC down. Both men down. 25 minutes have gone by in this one. It's a classic. Oh, spear on Merrick's! Too close to the other corner. And what is BMW doing in there? Was he dancing? Okay, see, trying to fight out of the corner. Fending off everyone here. BMW holding him illegally. Footers in. Moonwing in. You're going after the wrong man, Moonwing. Go after Footers. Footers is dazed. Both men back up. Oh, big super kick. And that's it! And that's it! The dojo wins! The dojo wins. And finally, Moonwing has been pinned. The dojo, 95% match evaluation. What a performance from everybody involved on this one. What a match. Now, we're going to see the second matchup of the Trios Tag Title Tournament. And this first team brought to you by Hot Rod Piper. We bring you the Guild, Piper, Ocho, and the newest member, Drunk Johnny. And maybe to continue the story a little bit. We're going to have T-Unit and SJ. After they just beat Drunk Johnny in a two-on-one handicap match at the Hypomania kickoff show. And they have a partner for the tournament. And it's going to be none other than Fifth Element. It's about to be boss time. It's about to be boss time. So T-Unit, SJ, Fifth Element versus the guild winners will take on the dojo in our well it'll be much later there i think we're gonna we'll, we're gonna do that one uh it'll be in the last three matches all right like i said we're getting we're powering through intros here we don't have enough television time for this all right, Piper and T-Unit starting things out for their teams here. T-Unit representing the DJ booth. Oh, drop down. Oh, and Piper makes her eat the knee. Oh, big eye rake. Knife edge chop, standing vertical suplex. 
Punches to the gut. Fifth element in there locking up with Piper. Throws him all the way out of the ring. Tag. SJ's legal and all over Piper already. Oh, a little strong style there. Trading blows. And SJ gets the better of Piper. Oh, but Piper, I'm not sure that one had much effect there, Piper. All right, Ocho's in for the first time. Double suplexer all the way out of the ring. And there comes Drunk Johnny. Looking for a little revenge for the guild. He doesn't know what he's doing. He doesn't know what he's doing. Oh, pile driver! Almost got SJ counted out there. I thought she was out. Oh! A little high crossbody there from Ocho. Almost got the job done. SJ needs to be looking for a tag here. Here we go. Fifth element coming back in. Drunk Johnny cleaning house. Scoop slam on fifth. Another scoop slam on fifth. Oh, and a scoop slam right back for you. Oh, now they're going to trade blows. Who's going to win? Oh, and fifth element wins the exchange. But a running bulldog from Drunk Johnny, and he is back on top. I think he just, uh, I think he just took a noogie. If I didn't know any better, I'd say Fifth Element just gave him a noogie. And there's an eye poke and a running bulldog. But they just can't keep the big man down. Oh, choke slam. And a snap suplex, and they're both down. Here comes T-Unit in now. Double drop kick. Oh, Fifth Element submission hold applied. But Fifth isn't legal. T-Unit taking the whole guild out here. But Ocho fights back. A little kick to the head. And a quick cover, but T-Unit's out. Single crab applied. Ocho doesn't tap. But T-Unit cuts him off trying to get to his corner. Double drop kick, and SJ pulls him back away so he can't make the tag. Cross arm breaker applied. The guild comes in with the save. Remember, Ocho's legal, though. Here comes Fifth Element back in. Double power bomb on Piper. Little miscommunication there. You can tell they're... Oh, Bank Statement locked in! Bank Statement locked in! Piper does not tap. Piper does not tap. Oh! 2.9. Piper's cleaning house. Oh, another pile driver. That's got to be it. T unit with the save. And Fifth Element's firing back now. Sends two live to the floor. Oh, man. Triple Superman. Uh, Triple Fisherman suplexes from Fifth Element. Throws Drunk Johnny back into her corner. Uh-oh. Irish whip, bam, with the knee strike. Little tag team work there. Oh, the rack's in. The rack was locked in. And Johnny doesn't tap. And the rack's in again. T-Unit's rack! T-Unit's rack! Oh. And she's staggering now, but off the top rope. Big elbow drop. Drunk Johnny's lucky to get out of the ring that time. And she tries dragging him back in. Oh! What was that? It looked like a TKO. 
Call that the T-Unit KO. Ocho with the high flying. A couple big splashes from the top. T-Unit roars back with a lariat, though. Oh, wait a minute! Wait a minute! You wait just a minute! Where was he grabbing? You keep your hands to yourself, Ocho. You want to see what happens to people who try that with my wife? Big DDT there. Fifth element up top. Oh, big crossbody from the top. Bank statement locked in. Ocho tapped. Ocho tapped. Ocho tapped. And T Unit, SJ, and Fifth Element are going to move on. Wait. There's another mysterious hand in the aisle way there. Did you see that? Who was it? Who were they after? What did they want? We're going to need to find out. We're going to have to roll the tape back. Get a freeze frame right there. If you're watching this right now, I need you to come into the Discord server and drop that freeze frame so we can figure out whose hand that was. And speaking of hands... This is something that we just seen at Hypomania, but it wasn't the same blue glove this, that we seen there. It was not the same blue glove that we seen there. Who could that one be? And are these two incidents related? Are these two incidents related? There's a lot of explaining to do. A lot of explaining to do. Okay, now we are going to move on to our TTV title match. I'm not sure why that's vacant, but did it not save? The champion is Fish Can't Swim. I don't care what that thing says. The champion is Fish Can't. And. In the battle royal for the belt. We're bringing out Ferg. We're bringing out Zandal. We're having the monsters back in the ring. One more time. Southside Envy. One more chance. One more chance. Cheek, one more chance. And then we got some people that were in the tag title eliminator, but they're going to have one more chance to walk out with some gold. M Dog for life. Swaggy. And Aiden. Winner will be TTV champion. And again, I'm not sure why. Maybe I didn't have uh, actually set the title on the match when we were in the pay-per-view, and that's on me, but we all know. it's all, all our records are posted in Discord. Fish Can't Swim is the champion until thrown out of the ring. This is a battle of some of the best battle royalers in all of DJ Booth Wrestling here. Fish can locking up with Ferg over there on the left side of your screen. T 
two of the favorites here. Zandau also a battle royal machine. Southside Envy in there, cleaning house now, attacking everyone. He's got the Sheik, throws him off the rope, goes right after Big Ferg. Envy shows no fear in there. M-Dog over there using his speed and agility to maneuver around. A couple beautiful maneuvers there. Oh, oh, who just got tossed? Who just got tossed? Looks like Envy's gone. Envy's eliminated. Back of the line, Southside Envy. Swaggy over there. Submission hold locked in on M Dog. A lot of submissions all over the ring. Everybody trying to wear each other out. Ferg slams the Sheik. And then he goes right at back after Fish Can't. Zandal reverses Aiden and tosses him over the ropes. Aiden's gone. Big Zandal over there doing what he needs to do. Looks like he's in position to throw someone out again. Shoulder breaker on Swaggy. Oh, tries to throw M Dog out, but M Dog back under the bottom rope. Sheik with a big power slam on the champion. Goes for the submission, but Fish Can't will not tap that easily. That's a finisher steal right there. I'm pretty sure that's what that one means. Oh, Swaggy's eliminated. Swaggy eliminated. And we're down to five. M Dog hanging with the Giants in there. You're in the land of the Giants, M Dog. 2.9, Sheik stays alive. Oh! Zandow, why'd you break up the count? Let's just get now and see. Ferg, Ferg will let him pin you. A lot of rope breaks. I can feel it breaking down. Things are about to happen. Double drop kick there, and Ferg immediately turns on him. M Dog hanging in there with the big men, though. Ah, and he's finally tossed. Zandal had enough of him in there. And we're down to the four largest men in the whole Battle Royal. We got Ferg. We got Zandal. We got the champion, Fish Can't, and we got Iron Sheik. Oh! Ferg eliminates Zandow! Fish Can't not ready to go yet. He's not ready to give it up. Oh! And the champion gets dumped! He throws Iron Sheik out, and he immediately gets dumped. Immediately dumped. And Ferg is walking out of here, your new TTV champion there will be a rematch for fish can't don't you worry there will be a rematch clause but for now big ferg reclaims his spot as the king of the battle royal whoo Ladies and gentlemen, the action is only just still heating up. All right, this next matchup is going to be a special grudge match. And I'm getting in the ring here. This is a cage match. I don't want anybody else in. Or out here. 
I'm not dealing with it. We're going to keep the shenanigans out because somebody has been letting people in the back door of my arena interrupting my show and I'm not all happy about it. And we got a brand new look for one Michael Graham tonight. He's trying to change it up a a bit. So we got Mike and Mike with me. And uh, Kid Kelly, I'm still letting him hang around for the time being, all right? Kid Kelly's still here with me. We've got to defend our territory because Gerson invaded our territory. He screwed with our show last week, and then he shows up at our pay-per-view and somehow sneaks in to my Twitch TV Battle Royal. Luckily, he wasn't able to win. And he didn't come alone because he brought Big Papa Brian with him. And so I got a bone to pick with them. If they want to hang around, they're going to be coming out here to face me tonight. And I found out who was letting them in the building. The little weasel, great old one, was holding one door open. And after I looked at the tape, I figured out that the phenomenal P3 in fact helped them too, and I have no idea why. Maybe a defector. Maybe we got a defector here. I don't know. But, but, we will find out. We will find out. All right, it's going to be Pandemonium in there. Team DJ versus Team G. There we go. Mike Claw and DJ double powerbomb on Gerson. The great old one over there trying to defend the honor. P3 up there locked up with Kid Kelly. And P3 takes a double powerbomb from Michael Graham and Kid Kelly. But Big Papa Brian kicking everybody down, punching me in the face. Slams Mike Claw into the corner. He's cleaning house over there. Action everywhere in the ring. DJ getting laid out every time I look at him. Big Papa Brian cleaning house again. Can anybody keep him down? Oh, I was going for Mike Graham. You drug him out of the way. I was trying to drop the knee. Oh, jawbreaker from Great Old One. Kid Kelly dangerously climbing the road. This is a cage match. You got to be careful there. I thought he was going to jump from the top of the whole ass cage. Nobody's escaped the cage yet. It gets interesting to see because once one man leaves the cage, he leaves his team down a member. Double power bomb there. P3 with a 450. Oh, that's it. Oh, DJ's got great old one. He hit him with the Super Saiyan God. And I'm out of here. I've had enough. I've had enough. Great old one's getting out of there because he can't stand to get hit again. I'll tell you that much. Oh, but they're fighting outside the ring now. Try me again, son. Got a three on three left in the ring. Who's going to be next? Big Papa Brian's had enough. He's out of here. He's out of here. He said, we got this. Come on, guys. Let's go. I trust my team to get the job done here. But you left him in there with Mike and Mike. A dangerous team indeed. 
And Mike Graham's out of here. And Garrison's getting out of here. So we got Kid Kelly and Mike Claw in there and only P3 left from the other squad. I need you two to take him out. Kid Kelly's getting out of there. We're down to Mike Claw and P3. Oh no. Mike, get him, Mike. Oh, Big Lariat. Who will get out of the cage first? Mike Claw. Oh no, running Bulldog and that's going to be it. Team Garrison comes in again with the upset showing why they were in the building hmm. i'm a little disappointed in my team here i'm gonna tell you what if you're teaming with me and we lose it's your ass it's your ass i'm gonna have to find some people around this locker room that can actually show these people who they're messing with when they come inside our building but all right so let's get to it the inaugural oh wait yeah i'm in cage death match i can't do that okay um we're gonna go to the inaugural dj booth wrestling trio style see again can you not win the match in a or win the TTV title in a battle royal? Weird. I'll have to figure that out, but uh, we do know that Ferg is the TTV champion now. So, the dojo. Coming back out here. Another chance to win some gold. Another chance to win some gold. Why does that keep popping up like that? I don't even know. So we're going to have the dojo against the booth here. Hmm. Why is everybody listed as seconds? Oh. Pfft. 
All right, now that we got the technical difficulties figured out, let me put these wrestlers in one more time so that we can put the titles on the line here. I'm still a little new to this game, so there's going to be times that this happens to me yet. We'll get it all worked out. I don't think they can bring uh, anybody to ringside in there. It took the second off, and it didn't give me an option to put it back on. So they're not going to get to have their stooge at ringside here. So we'll see what happens now. I don't think I've done settings on a... Uh All right, T-Unit and Merrick starting it out. Inaugural TT or inaugural trios tag titles. The TTT. Oh, Merrick's kicking them both down, taking it to the DJ booth members there. Do something to represent the booth tonight. Fifth Element, you win these titles with them. We might keep you around on the squad. I'll tell you what. Big chance to prove yourself for Fifth Element tonight. But BMW has been hell-bent on a mission for gold. Any gold will do. Any gold will do. He said, give me the trios tag titles. I got this. And somebody's bleeding in there now. Somebody's bleeding. I think it might be SJ. Stomp to the back and BMW. Big Oh, But a reversal from Fifth Element. What a maneuver. Footer's tagged in now. Cobra Kai using strength in numbers. It's what they do. Oh, the penetrator locked in. Footer's with those lethal kicks. Ladies and gentlemen, I think it's time to let the cat out of the bag. If you're wondering why you haven't seen the sensei of the dojo yet all night, it's because he will be challenging Tommy Elvira for the world championship tonight. The dojo's last chance at the world title. Sensei's had all these gripes about the referee and all these excuses in the book. Well, there's going to be no more excuses tonight, sensei. There will be nobody at ringside. Cobra Kai is banned from ringside. And we're going to see if you got what it takes, Sensei. So he said, looking for the rest of the boys to come out with some titles after tonight. BMW was eliminated out of that title tournament. In the finals of the tournament by the champion Tommy Elvira. And then Marix was defeated at pay-per-view by the champion Tommy Elvira. So you've been through the lackeys. Now it's time to go through the sensei. Oh, Marix, big shoulder tackle. Maybe a little miscue there. I think Footer should have let her alone. Wow, T Unic. Oh, but Miss Fifth Element drug him out of the way. Almost saved footers. Submission hold locked, and that might do it. That does it. Fifth Element costs 
them the match right there. What were you doing? SJ's in there, a bloody mess. And there you go. The Dojo, your first ever Trios Tag Team Champions. Merrick's Footers in Sydney, a.k.a. Jerry D. Watson. And Break My Wife Hip, BMW. New champion crowned. The dojo finally, finally, with some gold around their waist. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our last battle royal of the evening. And in the first one, I told you there was going to be a, a surprise for the winner on Monday night. This one, I'm not going to make you wait till Monday. The winner of this match right here. Is going to be in a three way match for the Twitch TV Championship on Monday night. In the main event of Monday night, Ferg will defend against the former champion, Fishcant, and whoever wins this battle royal. And this battle royal is set up for people who went deep into the World Championship Tournament or were just on uh, the pay-per-view there. So all of these people are people who are ready to break out and one of them is going to get their chance. So we got Wheels 1984. We got the Goose, Greg Cherry. We got, where did he go? Retro IC Gaming. We got the Reaper. We got Nate Dog. Where you at, Nate Dog? It's time to regulate. We got the Puerto Rican bot, Brygab. We got. City guy. All right, well, it looks like, uh, I think that's it. It's just seven in this one. It's just seven in this one. I lost a player somewhere, and I just ran down the roster of who was ready for tonight, and uh, that's all we got. So there's only going to be seven in this one. Like I had somebody double booked on accident there and I just looked through the roster and I didn't have anybody else left for that. Oh, we got somebody. City guy eliminated in like three seconds. That might be the fastest elimination we've ever seen. So city guy will not be in the triple threat match main event for the Twitch TV championship on Monday night. Oh, we got people shooting fireballs in there. Now, it's getting dangerous. Referee Scope Lee not even questioning them about the fire. Oh, we got green mist out there, too. 
Now, my money's on the big man, Wheels 1984. I think he's favored to win this thing on sheer size alone. But not if Retro's got anything to say about it. He stabs him in the head with a fork. Referee, get in there. Referee, get in there. Greg Cherry locked up with Brygab now. Five minutes gone by. Reaper's biting Greg Cherry in the face. Reaper going after everyone at this point. Till Nate Dog cuts him off. Nate Dog, a couple stiff elbows there. What did Reaper, what is he doing? There's some kind of voodoo? You never know with the Reaper. You never know with the Reaper. Well, Greg Cherry bleeding all over himself. Wheels bleeding too. Oh, we got more green mist. Green mist, fireballs, and everything else happening. Oh, the goose is loose. He's out of here. Double suplexed over the top rope. Nate Dog, big choke slam. Reaper puts some kind of magic over them and they don't even, they can't have no control of their bodies for a few seconds. Reaper working with wheels for a second, then turns his back on him. And now he's got his attention on Nate Dog. Oh my god! Oh, and the Reaper's eliminated! Brygab's still alive now, locked up with Retro. And we got Nate Dog locked up with wheels, and wheels gets tossed. The big man's out. The big man's out. Ladies and gentlemen, did you notice what color the gloves were that Wheels was wearing? While Brygab gets eliminated, Wheels has blue gloves. Is he the man with the blue gloves? And if so, who was the man with the white glove earlier tonight? Some not so stiff kicks there from Retro IC Gaming. But he sidesteps and tosses him, and Retro wins the Battle Royal. And we will see you tomorrow night, Twitch TV, Monday night, whenever you get to see this. I'm recording on Sunday. You might see it on Monday. But Retro will be in the main event, so it'll be Fish Camp Ferg and Retro duking it out for the TTV Championship. Okay, we only got two matches to go. Now, your tag team championship will be on the line here. And this is a call-out match. The champions extended this offer. The champions extended the offer. Cotton Tech, Punisher Alpha, the Fork Buddies... And they're putting their, uh, well, they'll be the red side, I guess, because they're champions. They're putting their titles on the line against Golden Ivy. Titles on the line. Now, if Goldie and Ivy lose this one, it's back of the line. It's back of the line. 
They said, we want them first. We want them first. We're tired of the trash talk. It's time to put up or shut up. Will the Fork Buddies finally be dethroned? Or will Golden Ivy come out victorious tonight? Welcome to the first half of our double main event. All right, Ivy Taker making her way to the ring there. And here comes her partner, the Golden One, the Golden Girl herself, Goldie's Gaming. And the champions. Punisher. I mean, it's a, if you don't know all the characters in my league, it's okay. Because Punisher is Punisher, alright? And here he comes. The mysterious man with a mysterious mask. An X on the chest. And a belt on his waist. Ladies and gentlemen, Cotton Tech. The master of the fork. Alright, Cotton and Goldie starting things up in there now. Man, he's biting her, ref. Goldie, a little drop toe hold there. She's going to have to use quickness, agility, speed, and a whole lot of heart and determination if she's going to overcome all this biting of the fingers. I don't know. Maybe she forgot to clip her fingernails. I think uh, Cotton's over there biting her nails. Oh, no. He's already stabbed her. Already stabbed her with a fork. Scope Lee, get in there and do something. Ivy Taker in, though. Big double power bomb on Cotton. And he's running away. Oh, well, but he's a bag. He said, no, you know what? I got this. Oh, and then he thought better of it. Wait a minute. What is that? Punisher come in with a spray can of something. They're cheating. They're cheating again, damn it. Quick STO there. Punisher submission hold there. Heel, a heel hook locked in. Knee lift. Oh, submission hold in. Oh, but a rope break there. Ivy Taker hits the snap, man. Here comes Goldie. Oh, big double team. Big double uh, top of the shoulders bulldog. And uh, Punisher's got to get himself out of there. Oh, Cotton said, hit me. Come on, one more. Four times and knocked him down, too. Oh, Goldie gets reversed there. She was on the onside. Oh, my God. He just stomping her head into the mat. Only a one count now. Cotton not seemingly hurt yet. Oh, man. Double code breaker. But you got the wrong one. Because Ivy Taker's legal. And, oh, there's an arm bar. Will Punisher give up? He does not. Ah, oh, Tombstone! 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 Cotton gets in to break it up. I don't know why Goldie didn't come to help. Man, Punisher wisely with the tag out there. Just ate a Tombstone. Probably doesn't want any more. Big uppercut there on Cotton. Whipped off the ropes. Back elbow. Ivy gets the tag. Goldie's coming for Goldie's revenge. Look at that. You ain't biting my partner. Submission hold locked in. Pandemonium in there now. It's pandemonium. Oh, Cotton. Definitely the dirtiest player in all of DJ Boot. Oh, top rope ace crusher. Illegal hit after illegal hit. Oh, my God. He put a fork in her back and gave her a German on it. But she still hits a running power slam on Punisher somehow. Oh, no. Punisher comes in. And that's it. Ring the damn bell. I've seen enough. 
The Punisher gets the submission victory over Goldie Cotton and Pun win again. Who could beat them? Who could beat them? Title defense. Flying cross arm breaker there. Punisher over Goldie. So we're here. Main event of the evening. DJ Booth Wrestling World Championship match. Tommy Elvira is going to be defending against the leader of Cobra Kai, the man who started it all, Sensei Kreese. With Cobra Kai barred from ringside. Ladies and gentlemen, it's your main event of the evening. Tommy Elvira has never been pinned or submitted. He was thrown from one battle royal in his debut match, and since then, nobody's been able to beat him. Now, Sensei Kreese finished second in the TTV battle royal at Hypomania, and uh, it was kind of a bad call. It was kind of a bad call. He had Fishcant all the way out of the ring. Scope Lee doesn't call for the bell. Fishcant comes back in and wins. And, uh, you know, Sensei, he's, just, he's got one last chance for the dojo to chase this title here. And if they can't get it, it's back of the line for the dojo, too. Tommy Elvira there showing why he's the champion but Sensei's not intimidated quick chops quick cover doesn't even get a one count little front kick oh look at Sensei with the strike and he came to play tonight remember the dojo's barred from ringside we've never really seen Cobra Kai on their own like this Usually it's strength in numbers, but he said, I got something to prove. He doesn't want no distraction out here. Tommy Elvira with a chokehold locked in. But Sensei right back, dragon screw leg whip, and he's got a one count now. I think he's starting to wear him down a little bit. Oh, they're trading kicks. That's a lot of kicks, and they're both down. And they're both up. So far, it's about right down the middle. Oh, a couple suplexes, though. And Sensei into the corner. That's not a place you want to be with them knees of Tommy Elvira. Double stomp from the top rope. Drags him out. Oh, no, that might be it. 2.9. Sensei showing a little heart here. Tommy off the top rope again with the double stomp. Back kick. 2.9 again. Oh, but Sensei showing a little bit of fight here. Maybe a last ditch effort to fend him off. Snap suplex. Oh, big running knee. But Sensei catches him, slaps him right in the face for the disrespect. Oh, knee lifts. This is some of the best striking I've ever seen. Oh, big... Oh, Sensei with a chokehold locked in! Will the champion tap? He does not. And he's right back up on the offensive. How do you keep him down? Sensei out of instincts rolls him over there. Oh, the nunchucks are out! He hit him with the nunchucks and Scopely doesn't say nothing. And look at that. Tommy Elvira says, I want more. He wants more. He's not done. Since they punched his face in that time. Drags him out of the corner. And he eats an ace crusher for his trouble. Both men hurt so bad at this point. I've not seen Tommy Elvira in trouble before, but dare I say, one more big shot could end it. And there's a flurry of kicks from Sensei. 
And some more strikes. And he just keeps picking him up and knocking him back down. But not for long. There's a brain buster again already. And another kick to the spine. And that's it. And that's it. Tommy Elvira defends. Tommy Elvira defends. And Sensei loses clean. Right in the middle. It looked like... What, what was that? Was there another clip there? Was somebody about to come out again? What is going on with these mysterious sightings of people wanting to come out after these matches? We're going to have to get a freeze frame of that. If you're watching at this point too, on that one second that the ramp shows there, can we get a screenshot to see if we can see a hand or an arm or a face or something? Oh, ladies and gentlemen, this is DJ Nine ZT, and I'm signing off for the night. I'll see you all on Monday night on Twitch. We will discuss everything. Thanks for watching, and until next time, peace. <laughs>